How do we measure the speed of sound using some wooden blocks and a wall? We take a measuring wheel to measure the distance between this man and the wall. Let's say that's 100 meters. We give this man two wooden blocks, or a wooden clapper if you got one. Then we stand right next to him and have our timer ready. When he claps the blocks together, the sound wave of the clap will travel towards the wall, it gets reflected at the wall, and then travels back towards us so that we can hear its echo. So we're going to start the timer when he claps, stop the timer when we hear the echo. Ready? We have the equation speed is distance divided by time. The distance that the sound wave has traveled there and back is 100 times 2. The time we got is 0.58 seconds, so plugging everything in, that gives us 340 meters per second for the speed of sound. But the big problem is, human reaction time is 0.25 seconds on average. So how likely are we able to measure 0.58 seconds without any human error? To reduce human error, let's try this. Get this man to clap the blocks 10 times. After the first clap, the sound wave travels there and back. And when he hears the first echo, he claps a second time. After the second echo, he claps a third time, and so on. It'll probably take him a bit of time to get into the right rhythm for synchronization. Once he gets going, we will time 10 claps. Now back to the equation speed is distance over time. Traveling there and back is a distance of 200 meters. And this time, we've timed a journey of 10 separate sound waves. So we have to multiply by 10. Dividing by 5.8 seconds, we get 340 meters per second for the speed of sound.